because Donald Trump is not somebody I'd have in my house. I do think he's, he's a bigot like Archie Bunker. He thinks black people are kind of dumb. He thinks black people don't try hard enough. He's one of those. Who are the elect and, and why are they perhaps problematic? The elect are people, not just woke, the elect are people who feel that battling differentials in power, especially white people's power, should be the center of everything that we think, everything that we like, everything that we do, all the effort that we put forth. It's all about battling power differentials. Now, all of us understand that that's important on some level, but we think of battling power differentials as one of maybe 25 things that you might think about as you go through this thing called life. But for these people, that's the center. And if you're not battling white power, so to speak, this kind of person feels that you are so wrong, you are so behind the curve, that you should be fired if you disagree, that you should be mocked on social media as a white supremacist if you disagree, that you are not fit to break bread with. And the important thing is that if you wake me up in the middle of the night, I'm talking about a white person. There are plenty of black people who join this. You've already mentioned some of them. But really, this is a white, black, Asian, Latino, everything phenomenon. It's all the people speaking for us, including a lot of us. That kind of person used to be somebody you mainly encountered as one kind of academic, as one kind of media person, as the occasional firebrand community activist. It was just one person at the table. But as of after George Floyd, that kind of person started calling the shots. Everybody's afraid of that kind of person because if you don't do what they say in our times of racial reckoning, then you get called a white supremacist on Twitter and these people try to get you fired. Help me understand what I'm missing about this rampant racism of Donald Trump and even his supporters. <laughs> Jason, there was a lot in there. And I'm going to take yeah. this opportunity to say something that I don't usually get into. I think a lot of people think, and I would think this about me if I weren't myself. A lot of people think I'm Carlton on Fresh Prince. A lot of people think that, you know, I teach at an Ivy League school. I talk in this snotty way. I must have grown up, you know, with, you know, two, you know, professor parents or something like that. And I completely missed what you're talking about. Not, not true. I grew up middle, middle class, not lower middle class, but middle. It was fragile. And my parents' financial circumstances fell to pieces around when I graduated from college and, and never came back. Both of them had grown up, I guess you would say, working class with my father, definitely maybe lower middle class with my mother, but all of their relatives, except for a few when I was little, were you know working class people and time has gone by and people of my generation are now various classes. But I grew up amidst people who were nothing like Carlton. I didn't grow up in that kind of environment. I got my BA from Rutgers. Rutgers is a great school now. It was not that great a school in 1985. I'm not an Ivy League product at all. And I know people aren't going to believe this, but when I was 20, 21, nobody thought much was going to come of me either. Nobody thought I was going to be a factory worker, but about the best anybody thought was going to come from me was that I was going to maybe be a high school French teacher. That's all my mother thought I was going to be. Nobody expected me to be wherever I am today. I did not impress people. I was thought of as kind of a prissy, smart mouthed guy but nobody thought that was gonna get me any kind of renown. So I hear what you're talking about, and when I talk about black people, I'm not thinking about some assistant black professor. I'm always thinking about those guys on the bar stool that you're talking about. I'm talking about black people out in the real world who may have problems, who may need help. To me, that's the real thing, and as such, with all of that said, Donald Trump's racism, I don't really care that much about it. I've said some colorful things about it with Don Lemon, on TV, and I felt those things because Donald Trump is not somebody I'd have in my house. I do think he's, he's a bigot like Archie Bunker. He thinks black people are kind of dumb. He thinks black people don't try hard enough. He's one of those. In that, he's not unique, though, especially among you know white guys of his generation and education level. Frankly, he's, and I mean, I know he has certain formal educational credentials, but please. So really, you know, yeah, he, he's a genteel bigot.